guys welcome back so today we are going to talk about the 10 handbags that I feel like are perfect for fall and I know there's a lot of people right now that are kind of like why are you trying to rush into fall it's not technically fall until the 22nd of September but listen I am the first one who's trying to rush fall I love fall mostly because my birthday's in the fall but it's my favorite season it's the best and for fashion I mean, there's just, you can't beat it. So I'm sorry, I'm one of the people who's trying to rush fall. Don't fight me. <laughs> so the bags that I'm gonna talk about today are not necessarily like my 10 favorite bags, like the bags that I'm gonna buy for the fall, but they are the bags that I just feel like give off the most fall vibes. But yeah, if you guys wanna know what are the top 10 fall handbags, in my opinion, then please just keep on watching. But wait, before we jump into it, you guys already know what I'm going to say. If you're not already subscribed, explain yourself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays usually at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I did miss this past Wednesday's upload because I started a new job. You guys have been really sweet actually congratulating me and everything on my new job. I'm very excited about it, but it has been rough. <laughs> it's definitely been rough. So thank you for bearing with me. I actually have work and I have to leave in 15 minutes. So hopefully we can... We can get this done in those 15 minutes. But yeah, if you guys like fashion, handbags, shoes, luxury, jewelry, any of those things tickle your pickle, I think this is where you're gonna wanna be. So definitely subscribe if you're not already. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Let me also preface this by saying this is only my opinion. So if you don't like any of these bags, which I actually don't like some of these bags, if you guys have seen some of my more recent like unpopular opinions video or the 10 bags that I'm not buying, which I will link in the cards if you haven't seen it, but I actually did mention some of these bags. So like I said, it's not like these are bags that I personally love and I'm buying or I'm looking forward to buying or anything like that. These are just the bags that I feel like give off the fall vibes. How, take a shot every time I say fall vibes. <laughs> so for Dior, there was a couple of bags that I was looking at. I was looking at the 30 Montaigne. I feel like that is a really good fall bag. But for me, the ultimate fall bag from Dior is the Bobby bag. The Dior Bobby bag in camel with like a camel trench coat, some chunky boots, a beanie, and some sunglasses. That is it for fall. Tell me it is not. I just feel like if you see somebody with a bobby bag in fall, like you know that they're killing it, they're doing what they need to do, and that's it. So if you're looking to buy a Dior bag in the fall, the bobby bag is where I am. I'm just like guiding you, you know? From Chanel, this one was actually extremely easy, and I think you guys probably know exactly which one I'm gonna pick. I think the Chanel 19 for fall is still it. And I know that this was kind of like the it bag for last fall. And I feel like a lot of people thought it was gonna die down by this year. And I honestly don't think that it did. The carefree vibes that this bag gives off is like exactly what you want for fall. So does this kind of match what I'm wearing today? What the hell? It does. If you don't already have a Chanel 19 and you're looking to add a Chanel bag, I think this is the time to go for the 19. It is personally one of my favorite bags in my collection. I'm definitely never letting it go. I mean, I obviously, I love that green color. It is the best green that I've ever seen. But in general, it's just so easy to use, so functional, and you could use it crossbody, top handle, so many different ways. So honestly, I definitely suggest, that's probably my favorite one or one of my favorite ones from the list that we're gonna talk about today. Number three, my Balenciaga pick. This was a little hard because you guys know how much I despise the Leica Gold bag, and I'm not gonna mention that bag. I'm sorry, there's just no way I'm gonna mention that bag. There are bags on this list that are not my favorite, but the Leica Gold bag, like, I picked the hourglass bag. I actually used to have the hourglass bag. And if you guys missed my bags that I sold in Y part one and part two, I will link them up here. But I do kind of miss that bag. It is different because I'm mentioning mostly things that are like carefree and like slouchy and things that are like a little bit on the bigger side. But the hourglass, I feel like if you imagine a fall outfit, like again, something with chunky boots, something with layers, I feel like holding the hourglass or even having it cross body just brings an outfit together so perfectly. I think the best ones are the ones that are a little bit more on the textured side. So like the mock croc that they do, I really like those. The glittery ones, I am like dying to get one of the sparkly ones. I just think you can't go wrong with an hourglass, honestly. And I don't really feel like this is that trendy of a bag. Like I thought when I sold mine that it was just like extremely trendy, but I feel like it's starting to become kind of like a staple. I wouldn't say a classic, but something that's just has a little bit long, more longevity than something that is super trendy. So if you're gonna go for something Balenciaga, I would suggest this. 
Definitely not the Lake of Gold. <laughs> I hate it. For Bottega, this was kind of between two bags, but one that I think is just perfect for the fall has to be the Teen Jody bag. I personally, this is not my vibe. This is not, it's not for me. And I think if you guys know me, you know this, but I don't think that we can talk about fall handbags and not mention this bag. It just has everything that you would want a fall handbag to have. And Bottega, as we know, is having the moment of its life right now. Okay, maybe. Maybe the second moment of its life. I think last year was like the moment of its life. This is like moment of its life junior. We're going to work, we're going to school. We need to put things in a bag, okay? So I feel like this is just it. The mini Jody fits my style personally better, but for the fall, the teen Jody is just, she's where it's at, you know? I think if we did this video and did not mention the Loewe puzzle bag, honestly, like, something is wrong okay the Loewe puzzle bag for me is the ultimate fall bag i think out of all of the bags that i'm gonna mention today the puzzle bag is like number one for fall vibes i just feel like if you see somebody with like a big puffer coat holding a Loewe puzzle bag and they've got a little beanie on and they're walking down the street like that is that is it that is just quintessential fall in that one person and i think we can all agree on that and i i think i would be crazy to not mention this bag, okay? Especially in that beautiful camel color that Loewe does. I am sorry, but that is the best camel color ever. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's a fact. For Louis Vuitton, this was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> I feel like most Louis Vuitton bags are not like specific to a season. I mean, no bag is specific to a season, let's be honest. You can wear whatever bag you want, whenever you want. Like if you wanna wear a wicker bag in the middle of winter, like go off sis, no one's gonna stop you. I'm just saying, for me, for fall, the Louis Vuitton cuisine is just, it's, it's it, like she's it. I think that smushy leather, again, the fact that you can hold it as a clutch and then you have that little chain detail, I think it's just perfect for the fall. And any outfit, I mean, any bag that I'm gonna mention today, I am mentioning it because I think it's gonna add something to a fall outfit. And I just feel like any fall outfit that you could have put together, throw on the cuisine bag and you are just gonna be like A1. I think it's gonna be perfect for the fall. And I think if you have one, this is the time. Dust her off, okay? And let's go, rock it. Because this is it. This is, this is her time. It's her time. I do feel like she's a little bit expensive. She's a little expensive, okay? She's a little expensive. I can agree to that, but I just feel like if you already have it, pull her out. Pull her out. From Celine, I think you already know what I'm gonna mention because this is my favorite and probably the only bag that I like from Celine. Still not buying though. This is the Celine Triumph bag. This bag, specifically in black with gold hardware, it does things to me. I just picture a trench coat with this crossbody. I feel like anything crossbody is it for the fall. I think this bag in black is just so carefree. It goes with anything and it just gives off cool girl vibes. And who doesn't want to be cool in the fall, okay? From Fendi, I almost chose the baguette because the baguette does have very like slouchy, slouchy vibes. It's kind of very carefree. It has what you want for the fall. It does crossbody sometimes. It depends on the baguette. Sometimes they crossbody, sometimes they don't. And obviously it depends on your body. But, that's not what I picked. I actually picked the Fendi first for this. I love this bag. Ever since it came out, I have been just eyeing it down. I think it is beautiful and I specifically like, which is very weird for me, the bigger size of the Fendi first. I think maybe the proportions on it are just doing something more than the smaller version, but definitely the medium size I like better. And if you know me, you know I love a thicker strap. So definitely the fact that the medium comes with a little bit of a bigger strap is, I like that. I think just holding it or even having it under the arm is just everything for the fall. They also have that in a very beautiful camel color. I have been very tempted by it. They have it with like lizard on the F. I just think it's a beautiful bag, okay? And I think they thought of pretty much everything when it comes to that bag. I don't think I'm gonna be adding one to my collection, but she's gorgeous. From Saint Laurent, I'm gonna just, we're gonna breeze over this because you guys already know what I'm gonna pick, okay? I care maxi i love this bag i love it so much and i am so i think if the bag was not like over four thousand dollars i would have already added it to my collection because i love it that much and even though i don't love like those big huge oversized totes i mean i don't like big bags really in general but that bag just does something to me it's beautiful in the black i think it only comes in the black 
so it's just like that beautiful like shiny leather and if you think about how much leather you're getting versus how much it is it's really not badly priced just the fact that it's saint laurent and it's over four thousand dollars i'm like ah. but if you guys have this oh my god i picture this with like the bottega tiger boots which are not my favorite boots but i'm just saying the bottega tiger boots with this bag and like literally any outfit perfect my last bag is gonna be from hermes and i think it might shock you i mean i'm not sure i feel like as soon as i thought of doing this video this was one of the first ones that i wrote down because it just screams fall to me it's not something that i necessarily am going to go out and buy but it's something that if you have or something that you're looking at get it now because the vibes are there and i'm talking about the hermes her bag the her bag gives the vibe she is slouchy she's carefree she's not even leather so you know that she's easy to take care of you just want something you can grab and go out of your house okay you're too busy putting your outfit together putting your trench putting your 75 layers on to have to think about a bag so get the her bag grab her and you're out you can also wear this bag by a top handle you could wear it crossbody on the shoulder so you really have like unlimited options with it and not only that you can take the bottom piece i don't know how to explain this correctly so i will mess this up but you can take the bottom piece of the bag off and switch it out with a different color if you obviously you will have to have more than one her bag but you get what i'm saying like you can mix and match and i think that is just it ultimate fall bag is well maybe not ultimate but from Hermes, ultimate fall bag is the her bag. So that's it for today's video. I'm actually late. So it's like my first week of this job and I'm already late. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any bags that you consider like the ultimate fall bag. Definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know which of my bags that I mentioned is your favorite. I'll definitely have to say my favorite is the Chanel 19. But I also think that the most fall like ultimate fall bag is going to be the Loewe puzzle bag. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you disagree with any of my picks. That's all I have to say for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Where are you going today? To kindergarten. Is this your first day? Don't. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Say wish me luck. Wish me luck. Do you hear that cricket?